Hello and welcome to a tutorial on XFX Folding Slideshow, a set of beautiful animating plugins for Final Cut Pro that reveal text, a drop zone, a panel, or combinations of all three folding on in 3D. You'll find the plugins under XFX Folding Slideshow in Final Cut in the title sidebar, top left. We've included a range of styles that you can use straight out of the box or use them as a starting point to customize them for your own needs. Let's build an example. I'm going to put a background down first. Here's an aerial photo of some houses. You can of course use video if you wish. I'm going to use the 101 open house example from the title browser and drop that on top of the photo. And you can immediately see we have a great folding animation. A quick look in the inspector shows that there are four options for folding on. In from the left, right, top or bottom. And you can of course toggle the effect off completely. Let's fill the drop zone with an image. Again, you can use video if you wish. Click on the drop zone in the inspector, navigate to the browser, find a house shot, and then apply clip. You can of course resize this by clicking in the canvas. To change the text, the best way is to highlight the text in the viewer, then adjust the parameters in the text inspector. You can change all of the text for font, size, color, and decide whether you want flat text or 3D. The 3D text does look good when folding on. I'd also like the photo of the houses in the background to have a little zoom on it. We have supplied a range of moves and zoom effects that you'll find in the effects browser in the right hand side of the Final Cut Pro GUI. First we need to make the photo into a compound clip. You can do that by right clicking or it's option G. Then apply the zoom effect. That looks good behind the text in the house shot. To overlay this composition over another instance, I need to make both items into a compound clip, and that means I can pick it up and overlay it without affecting anything below. And that's how you make a slideshow. Here's the timeline from the demo movie as an example. A few more controls to look at, and with this example, we have the sidebar and drop zone left, and that folds in from the right to give you that nice 3D and a focus look on there. But as you'll notice, this one has a panel and all of the plugins have the same functionality, but some of it might be turned off. And this one, it's turned on the panel. You can see I can turn that off as I can turn the drop zone and the text on and off as well. But what I want to do is I want to show you how this panel works because not only can you control the opacity, the position, the width, etc., but you can also control the position in Z space. And what that means is it's the way things are layered up. So if I actually control this by pushing it up, you can see it goes over the drop zone. You might want to highlight over a video or a drop zone behind text, and that's how you do it on there. And also that's got a full outline as well. So if I turn that off and turn the outline on, you can see I've got a thin white edge on there. I can pump that up and change the color on that. Let's pick the nice blue from the background. You can get some interesting effects by doing that, going around text, etc. Now, a few things just before we finish up. You might find that doing stuff in 4K slows your machine down slightly. That's not a problem. Just turn the depth of field down here and everything will come in. It'll be nice and sharp. You might like it nice and sharp, but then you can turn that back up when you come to render out and you can see you've got that lovely depth of field. Also, what will help is running in better performance. If you go to the top right and go to the drop down menu, go better performance. That'll make things work a bit quicker, but go back to better quality when you come to do your render out. OK, two more things to go. There's the light type. Now, the chances are the majority of the times you're going to use it on directional. But if you put it onto spot and play around with the controls, you can get some really nice creative um, effects. But you need to pump the light brightness up past 100 percent to get the whites to be to be white and then play around with the soft edge. It does a bit of a spotlight when it comes in, which might be the effect you're after on there. Six more plugins to go in the title browser and you can see here we've got different durations of the effect. Again, they've all got the panel, the text and the drop zones enabled so you can make anything out of anything. And lastly, we've got some motion blur, which you can always do is just pick it up and drop it on the top should you want a bit more motion blur on the effect coming in. But there'll be obviously a render hit with the timing on there. But you can actually toggle that on as the last thing you do. So there you go, XFX Folding Slideshow, really easy to use, gives some great professional results with a few clicks. Hope you enjoy it. Bye bye.